Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being with us today. My name is Diana Drew, and I'm the principal at Browning Pierce Elementary School. And I have with me today, up here on the stage, Mrs. Bellamy, our assistant principal, and Mr. Charles Overturf, and he is representing the Kiwanis Club of the Azalea City. So before we begin, I want to make sure that we welcome our students and our visitors virtually. And I want to turn this over to Mr. Overturf for just a moment so he can say just a couple of words with you. Thank you, ma'am. And on behalf of about 60 other members of Azalea City, we just want to say thank you to these students for what they're doing. In a moment, she'll be reading to you uh, what a lot of times your teacher has said, but sometimes even fellow classmates have said about you. And we know it's really important to try to do the best we can to learn our book knowledge, but it's also important to learn our reading and also our behavior and our attitude, our character. So we're proud of what you're doing. We say thank you and just keep up the good work. Thank you, Mr. Overturf. So students, when you get your packet and you get um, to look through it later, you're gonna have a lot of neat things in there and I just wanna let you know, um, you've got a nice coin from the district. There's a pencil in there from the Kiwanis Club. There is a, um, a bumper sticker for your parents and some of our other people that have sponsored and put things in there for you are CP Deli, Burger King, Pax Karate, and Muscle White, so I think you'll be able to enjoy a lot of neat little treats with you and your family. Also Zaxby's, we have a Zaxby's card in there, so we appreciate all of these um, organizations too for helping us celebrate you. So let me put this back in the packet and we'll get started. Okay, our first student today is Aiden Bellamy. Mrs. Blank says Aiden always tries to do the right thing. He is the perfect example of a good citizen and good friend. Aiden gives his schoolwork 110% every day. He readily participates during whole group, small group, partner time, and independent time. He sets a great example for behavior in the classroom and always encourages his teammates to do the same. Aiden, I am so proud of you. Our next student is Neiman Griffin. Mrs. Brown writes, Neiman is a joy to have in the classroom. He has shown amazing growth in the classroom as a student and as a friend. Neiman is always willing to help his teacher and his classmates. He comes to school ready to participate and learn. I'm so proud to have Neiman as our terrific kid for this nine weeks. Neiman Griffin. Our next student is Dakota White. Ms. Hendrith writes, I think that all of my students are terrific, but Dakota has been chosen as my terrific kid for the third nine weeks for several reasons. His attendance has improved and he's doing an awesome job at being the best kindergartner that he can be. Dakota is a great listener, he pays attention while I'm teaching, and he's a kind friend. Dakota follows directions and is very respectful and polite. Dakota is very quiet, but when he smiles, it lights up the room. I feel very fortunate to have Dakota in my class this year, and I know his classmates feel the same way. We are all proud of you, Dakota. You're truly one terrific kid. Dakota White. Our next student is Jordan Coleman. Ms. Smith writes, Jordan is a true example of a terrific kid. Jordan's enthusiasm is contagious and she inspires her classmates. She's always willing to lend a helping hand to anyone in need. I can always count on her to do what is right, even when no one, no one is looking. She has quickly mastered many of the kindergarten skills and never gives up when she's challenged. She is a terrific kid in every way. Jordan Coleman.
Our next student is Jax Robinson. Jax is the true definition of terrific. Everyone he meets just loves him. He's always kind to his classmates and is a great friend. Jax is a model student who always follows directions and displays great manners. He has shown tremendous growth this year in both math and reading. We are so blessed to have him in our class family, Jax Robinson. Our next student is Daniel Mojica Gonzalez. Mrs. Croft writes, Daniel is truly a terrific kid in my class. He comes each day eager to learn and with a bright smile on his face. Daniel works well with his peers and is an excellent listener. He is a leader in our class. At recess, you can find Daniel picking up litter around our courtyard to help beautify our school. We are so lucky to have him as our terrific kid, Daniel Mojica Gonzalez. Congratulations. Our next student is Matthew Jacob. I'm truly honored, and this is from Ms. McCoy, I'm truly honored to submit Matthew Jacob to be our class terrific kid because his name describes the great student he is. M stands for marvelous, for the marvelous quiet personality he demonstrates daily in his class. A stands for how hard he works to achieve good grades in all of his first grade subjects. T stands for the team leader that he is, always willing to provide input of his subject knowledge to help his teammates succeed in their class task. T stands for his trusting spirit, which he demonstrates always to be honest and respectful towards his teacher and peers. H stands for his helpfulness. He's always willing to do anything he's asked to do in class. E stands for his enthusiasm. He demonstrates each morning that he enters the class prepared and ready to learn. And W stands for wow. Matthew is a joy to have in my first grade class. This is why Matthew is our terrific kid, Matthew Jacob. Our next student is Miley Lopez Martinez. Millie. Millie, I'm sorry. Come on up, Millie. Millie Lopez Martinez. Ms. Murray writes, she is an awesome student. She loves to learn. Whenever I introduce new things to the class, Millie is not afraid to experiment and apply what she's learned. She has grown so much academically this year. She has read and passed over 100 AR quizzes. She is also an exceptional math student. She's often the first person to answer questions in class. And she's a good helper. She volunteers quite often to help her friends when they need help. Millie is an exemplary student and a friend to her classmates. She really is a terrific kid. Millie Lopez Martinez. Our next student is Kalia Reed. Kalia? Kalia Reed. Come on up, Kalia. Kalia is a sweet student. She takes good care of her table and everyone that comes into our class. She makes sure new stu students feel welcome and that everyone has someone to play with. Kalia tries her best in everything she does and she is truly one terrific kid. Congratulations, Kalia. Miss Murrow. Our next student is Kendall Revels. Mrs. Phillips writes, Kendall is so deserving of this terrific kid award for so many reasons. She has worked hard, worked very hard this school year. Her focus and determination have helped her become more confident in her work. No matter what the assignment, she always puts forth her best effort. One quality that I admire about Kendall is that she is kind and respectful to her classmates. She's a good friend and she always offers a helping hand when she sees someone struggle. I have enjoyed watching Kendall blossom throughout the year in her reading and math skills. It's an honor to award Kendall as terrific kid at Browning Pierce Elementary School. 
Keep up the excellent work, Kendall. I'm so proud of you. Love, Miss Phillips. Our next student is King David Lewis. <laughs> Mrs. Wallace writes, King David is truly a terrific kid. He tries very hard at every subject we work on. Even if he struggles a bit, he's still trying his best. He behaves respectfully, kindly, and safely, which is one of our rules. He works hard to help teammates and classmates remember the rules as well. King David is a great example of what a terrific kid is. Thank you, King David, for being the best that you can be. Miss Wallace, King David Lewis. Our next student is Josaria Rigdon. Mrs. Baker writes, Josaria was nominated because her class loves her drive and commitment to their class. She will always step up and help any of her classmates in any subject. She always comes in with a smile and is determined to get good grades. Her determination and motivation is something I wish I could see in all of my students. Congratulations and keep pushing to be successful and a great Browning Pierce Bear. Congratulations, Josaria. Our next student is Raheem Betts. <laughs> Ms. Ballard writes, Raheem was nominated for Terrific Kid because he is a conscientious, hardworking student. Raheem is able to work independent, independently and with his cooperative group. He is well liked by his peers and is a leader within his group. He has beautiful handwriting and always does his best when working on an assignment. He is a vital part of our class family and we are super proud of him for all he has been able to accomplish this year. Ms. Ballard, Raheem Betts. Congratulations. Next we have Josiah Vasquez. Mrs. English writes, Josiah is very helpful. He will stop doing his work in order to help another classmate, even when he's not been asked or directed to do so. He's always smiling and putting forth effort. Seeing him help other students whenever they're in need is, is always what has been done in the past and he will always do it in the future. He's always smiling and putting his best best effort forth. I'm sorry about that. We are proud to have Josiah in our class. Thank you for being the best Browning Pierce Bear that you can be. I'm proud of you, Mrs. English. Josiah Vasquez. Sorry about that, Josiah. Congratulations. Giovanni Landry is our next student. Mrs. Maddox writes, Geo comes to school prepared and ready to learn each and every day. Everyone can count on him to explain things to them when they need help, and he often takes the lead role when working with his classmates. Geo is our terrific kid this nine weeks because of his work ethic, his kindness, and his determination to succeed. You rock, Geo. Love, Mrs. Maddox. Giovanni Landry. Our next student is Esmeri Mendez Morales. <laughs> Ms. Owens writes, Esmeri is truly a terrific kid. She comes to school each day eager and willing to learn. She is, the one, she is one of the most well-mannered, kind, caring, and humble students I know. She's always willing to help her classmates with their work. Esmeri is an extremely hard worker, and always goes above and beyond on any task she's given. She's definitely an asset in my class, and I feel truly honored to be her teacher. Congratulations, Esmeri. Love, Miss Owens. Our next student is Abigail Mays.
Ms. Edwards writes, Abby was nominated as my terrific kid for many reasons. One reason being her commitment and dedication in completing her classwork with excitement every day. She doesn't give up when a problem becomes too difficult, but stays committed to learning and finding a solution. Abby is also very considerate to her classmates and is always the first one to offer assistance to others in need of help. I'm so proud with the progress she has made this year, and I look forward to continuing watching her flourish. Congratulations, Abby, from Ms. Edwards. Next up is Kenzie Brewer. <laughs> Mrs. Orr writes, Kenzie was chosen to represent our class as a terrific kid this nine weeks. Kenzie is helpful to every one of her classmates. She always has a cheery smile to share. She's respectful and stays on top of her schoolwork. Kenzie is also thoughtful and reflective. She's an incredibly valued part of our class. We're so thankful to have Kenzie in our class this year. Way to go, Mrs. Orr. Kenzie Brewer. The next student we're celebrating is Taylor Cruz. Hi, Taylor. Ms. Jennison writes, Taylor is an outstanding student in my classroom. She has a great heart and is always willing to help her classmates. She's a great leader within her team and will grow up to be a leader one day. I'm proud to have Taylor in my classroom and it is a privilege and honor to call her our terrific kid for the third nine weeks. Love, Miss Jennison. Taylor Cruz. Our next student is Charles Williams. Mrs. Pinkerton writes this about Charles. Charles is a kind and considerate young man. He shows respect to everyone around him. Charles takes ownership of his learning and helps his teammates be successful. He is a true leader in my classroom and we are so very glad that he is a part of our class family. Congratulations, Charles. Love, Ms. Pinkerton. Our next student is Lauren Austin. <laughs> Ms. Richard writes, Lauren's classmates nominated her for our terrific kid because of her respect for others, generosity, and trustworthiness. Numerous students wrote about her respect for them during group work. One student mentioned her generosity in their interactions through classwork and also recess and other free time. Last, Lauren is a student who can be trusted with various responsibilities for that is trusted both by teachers and her classmates alike. Congratulations, Lauren. Ms. Richards. <laughs> Next up, we have Chloe Preston. <laughs> Mr. Bergman writes, Chloe has been selected as this month's terrific kid for several reasons. She has tried hard, has been very careful with her work, and has turned in her assignments on time. She's been very kind and respectful and helpful to those in need. We are very lucky to have her as a part of our class. She is the true definition of a bear. Congratulations, Mr. Bergman. Chloe Preston. Next, we have Andrea Middleton. <laughs> Mrs. Davis writes, Andrea always comes to class ready to learn and with a smile on her face. She puts, she puts forth her best effort in all that she does and is a great role model to her classmates. Andrea has a very sweet personality and is a friend to everyone. She encourages others to stay on task during group work time and completes assignments in a timely manner. It is such a pleasure to have Andrea in our class. Mrs. Davis, Andrea Middleton. <laughs> our 
Our next student is Taryn Herndon. Mrs. Ms. Matson writes, Taryn was nominated because she is a wonderful student to have in class. Taryn is able to work well with all students in the classroom, getting along with everybody. She is a leader for the group that she's working with, and she always does her best work, and it's to the best of her abilities, and she's never afraid to ask questions if she doesn't understand something. I know that Taryn will go far in life. Ms. Matson. Our next student is Giovanna Santan Espinoza. <laughs> Mrs. Browning writes, Giovanna is the terrific kid for the third nine weeks in my class because she's a friend to all and always includes everyone. She's willing to work with anyone and help out wherever she needs to. Giovanna speaks kindly to her classmates. She's, she always treats other students and adults with respect. Giovanna always takes her time and strives to do her best work in class. Thank you for being such a great example to others. Giovanna Santana Espinoza. Our next student is Seth Lennox. Mr. Hughes writes this about Seth. I chose Seth as my terrific kid for the third nine weeks because of his ability to be a wonderful teammate with any student in the class. He's always willing to work with anybody and he always does it with a smile on his face. Seth is a hard worker and he never has a negative word to say about anybody. He is the definition of a terrific kid. Mr. Hughes, Seth Lennox. Our next student is Devlin Smith. <laughs> Mrs. Revels writes, Devlin always comes to school prepared and ready to work. He gets along with his classmates great and is always willing to help in any way that he can. It is evident that Devlin really loves school. He always has a smile on his face. Devlin is a pleasure to have in class. Devlin. You are a wonderful, in all caps, student. Congratulations. Devlin Smith. Our next student is Melissa Hidalgo. She's in Miss Simmons' class. Melissa is a wonderful young lady who is responsible, helpful, and hardworking. She treats others with respect and earns their respect and friendship in return. She has a sweet, happy nature and a positive attitude. Melissa never complains and is very polite in her interactions with adults and students. She stays on task, actively listens, and promptly follows directions, all of which help her show growth as a student. She is meticulous about her work, striving to do her best always. She works hard to do her part and cooperate at cooperative activities and is eager to help and give an encouraging word to others. It's a pleasure to teach su such an awesome student as Melissa. <laughs> Next up is Brianna Harris. <laughs> Mrs. Yeomans writes, Brianna is such a pleasure to have in my class which truly brightens my day. She always works hard to complete the learning goals at hand. She continues to improve every day because of her determination to succeed. Brianna's eagerness to please and her positive attitude is why I'm proud to say Brianna Harris is my terrific kid. Brianna Harris. Our next student is Brock Badger Bennett. Ms. Kubiak writes, every day Brock represents what is meant to be a terrific kid. His dedication to his schoolwork and education is evident in the classroom daily. 
More important than his commitment to his education, however, is his commitment to being a good example for others. He continually sets the bar for his classmates on how to be kind and inclusive of everyone. Brock's thoughtfulness, consideration, and respect for teachers, staff, and other students is unparalleled, and every day he exemplifies how we should all treat one another. Ms. Kubiak. Our next student is Jonathan Elam. <laughs> Ms. Lark writes for Jonathan, Jonathan comes in every day to make others smile. He spent the year building great friendships and growing academically. He writes a fantastic essay. I'm very proud of his work ethic and ability to overcome hardships. I look forward to seeing what his future holds. Congratulations, Jonathan. Miss Lark. Our next student is Sean Martin. Sean is a hard worker, always giving his best effort. He's an important member of his team and also works well independently. He is a bear through and through. Thank you for everything that you do for our class. And that's from Mr. Pinkerton. Next up, we have Natravius McDuffie. Mrs. Hartley writes for Natravius. Natravius is a respectful student to teachers and peers. He puts forth great effort in his work. He excels in science and works well in groups with other students. He has shown remarkable growth in reading this year. It is a pleasure to have him in my classroom. Congratulations, Natravius. Mrs. Hartley. Congratulations, guys. Our next student is Charlie Keen. Ms. Owen writes for Charlie. Charlie Keen arrives for class each day with a smile on his face and he always says, good morning, Ms. Owen. Charlie is always kind and helpful to his classmates. He enjoys school and he's always interested in learning. Charlie tries his best every day. He's not discouraged when he doesn't get the correct answer when asked a question. He only continues to try harder each day. Charlie plays well with his classmates and he is always respectful to others. Charlie is a terrific kid. Charlie Keene. Congratulations. And last but not least, we have a student that could not be here today, but of course we want to recognize her. Her name is Jaden Emery. Jaden is Ms. England, in Ms. England's class, and she writes this about her. Jaden cares about her actions and her performance at school. She wants to hear every announcement, tells the truth even when it gets her in trouble, and works hard in her academics to keep her grades up. Most importantly, she asks for help if she needs it. Even as an adult, sometimes it's difficult to admit we need help, but Jaden always asks no matter the situation. In my opinion, this shows great maturity and bravery as she does it in front of her peers. Congratulations, Jaden, Miss England. Thank you, students. Um, as I said before we began today, when it was just us, I appreciate everything you do here at our school. I appreciate what you're doing for yourself by being such conscientious and good students with good work ethic is going to continue to pay off for you in the future and just know that I appreciate you, Mrs. Bellamy appreciates you, and all of our faculty and staff here appreciate you and we're so very proud of you. So thank you. Thank you for joining us.
You look around, the changes catch your eye, and you come to realize one can make a difference. Reach out, stand out, find out what it's all about. See it all, stand tall, be there to catch them when they fall. Life is bigger than just one Nothing changes quite as much as change And the things we rearrange Trying to make a difference Reach down, deep down Look at the sky of another town Listen well, the wind will tell you Something good is in the air oh. Life is bigger than just one oh, But one can make a difference oh, 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 oh. is bigger than just one but one can make a difference Life is bigger than just one But one can make a difference